My name is Victor. I come from Papua New Guinea. I love my country. It is so beautiful and so diverse. We are known as the land of the unexpected, the least explored country on earth. We are made up of many different tribes, each with their own traditions. Me and my people live in villages. We live in high mountains, jungles, rivers and the coast. Though we have much beauty, we are facing very big healthcare challenges. Many of our women die in childbirth. We are one of the highest rates in the world. TB has been declared as a national emergency. Our children are dying of preventable and treatable diseases. Many of us will never see a dentist in our lifetime. Hundreds of thousands of people have low vision or no vision at all. Makasi had been blind for 10 years. Her and her family heard about the ship being in their area and paddled in their canoe for two weeks to see if there was anything that we could do for her eyesight. After a 45 minute operation, her sight was restored to perfect vision. She saw her three children for the very first time that day. She went from someone that was downcast, that had no hope in her face, to someone that had light in her eyes, someone that had hope and excitement for her future. It's so amazing what happens when the ship first comes into a village. All the men, the women, the children, they all gather along the, the shores and they start singing, start dancing. The ship is more than bringing health care. Um, it's, it's really bringing life and really giving them hope for the future. On board the ship we have a day surgery unit, a laboratory, dental clinic and lecture theatres which allows us to bring really specialised care right there to the people in the community and the villages. A helicopter will be on board which will allow us to do emergency transfers as well as to even reach further inland to some of those places that are needed specialist care. The training element of the medical ship is very, very important. What that does, especially our health workers working in remote settings and those difficult settings, it empowers them, it strengthens them. It gives them that uh, someone does care. I've been involved now for over 30 years and to be on this journey for so long and seeing so much change and now we are positioned to be able to help so many people. The greatest resource in Papua New Guinea is its people and as we have the privilege of working alongside Papua New Guineans, we can see incredible things happen. My dream, I want to be a um, nurse. I want to help my people in this district and country. One of the things I love most about the work of the ship is seeing young Papua New Guineans engaged. Seeing young, passionate uh, Papua New Guineans from urban centres able to come out into a rural context of building their nation. When I think of the message I want to live, it's like me like him life. I want life and for you and for me is to have life and live it to the fullest. We look despair in the eye and we say you do not have the final word. We're people who have our fingerprints on a torch of hope. That's Papua New Guinean fingerprints, Australian fingerprints, fingerprints from all around the world that press forward because we want to live. So arise, holy sons of his land. Let us sing of our joys to be free. Papua New Guinea.